Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna dive right into today's video. For today's video, I just thought that I would do something really laid back, chill, you know, play with some new makeup that I just hauled. I did haul a lot of makeup. If you guys have not seen my Sephora VIB like savings haul, definitely check that out because I hauled a lot of makeup. And I am gonna play with a lot of that today and also some other stuff that I've hauled recently that I honestly just not have had the time to play with. Like the new Made by Mitchell Do You Want Some Milk eyeshadow palette, his blushes. Um, also, I have a ton of other stuff that I hauled that I wanted to just play with on camera. So we're just gonna, you know, talk about some stuff, play with some new makeup and all of that good stuff. So if you guys wanna see all that, then definitely keep on watching. But also hit that subscribe button. You know, since you're already here, because your girl is very consistent, I try to post four to five times a week. Okay, so I did my brows. Brows is honestly so boring. Like, I just did it off camera. I was like, girl, I need to just do my brows so I can be done with it. But the first product we're gonna try out today is from ColourPop. So ColourPop surprisingly came out with an eye primer. So first of all, this is something I've always said, like, I was always shocked that ColourPop had not come out with an eye primer before, and then they released one. So I was like, you know what, I gotta try this because ColourPop's eyeshadow formula, I feel like they have that down to a T. And you know, I wanna see what their formula is working with. So we're gonna try it out today. So this is the Party Proof Eye Primer. I got the shade Translucent. It did come out with three different shades of this. So we're gonna try this out today. I am gonna do my eyes first, and then we'll move on to the base but we're just gonna see. Ooh, okay, right off the bat, this primer, this eye primer is giving me Benefit Professional vibes straight up. That's what it like goes on like. If you guys have tried that, you already know. Oh yeah, definitely feels like the Benefit Professional primer. Wow, okay, that's exactly what this feels like. When it comes to eye primers, I like an eye primer that doesn't leave my lids oily. I have oily lids, so if an eye primer doesn't do that, then I have a good feeling about it. By the way, guys, do I look a little different? Do y'all notice something a little different about your girl? Maybe right here? Yes, okay, your girl got her her nose pierced, y'all. She got her nose pierced again. I got it re-pierced. If you guys have been watching me, like last year sometime, like early last year, 2020, I had my nose pierced in a lot of my videos. Then I was like, you know what? I really want a hoop. And then I tried to put a hoop in, but little did I know the hoop wasn't fully into my like nose piercing. So it started to close with that piercing semi in. So yeah, so I got it re-pierced. I tried to put it back in and I was like, no, I can't deal. It was hurting so bad. So it just closed up completely. And then I just finally got it re-pierced like a couple days ago. It definitely does hurt. It did hurt when I got it pierced, so <laughs> re-pierced. Um, but yeah, so this is the new Made by Mitchell Do You Want Some Milk eyeshadow palette. I did try to film a video on this. It didn't work out, but I did try this on my own time and I already like have my formed thoughts on this palette. I know the color scheme is kind of all over the place, but I like palettes like that. I'm gonna go in with the shade Angus and I'm gonna take this shade and I'm going to start to kind of like wing this out and over. This is my first time trying a Made by Mitchell eyeshadow palette. And when I tell you guys, it, the shimmers in here, I was a little bit disappointed in. They feel like really hard pressed, like they're really hard pressed shimmers. So I just found that the shimmers were, I'm gonna show you guys like, this shade in here is called Brown Cow. It is so like hard pressed. It's not like really giving me like what it's supposed to give. Like if I swatch this, like it's not, it's not my favorite. But then they have shimmers like this in this palette that gives me a little bit more of what I expect a shimmer to give. You know what I mean? But yeah, so I find that there's quite a few shimmers in here that are hard pressed like that, that don't really give off much so they don't really do too much for me and the eye looks that i'm going for ColourPop eye primer is doing a good job at you know my shadows my shadows aren't sticking to it it definitely did dry down i am gonna go ahead and keep the same brush we're gonna go into the shade called lactose which is this really bright pink love me 
a nice bright pink shade. And I'm just gonna take this shade and plop it in the inner corner and blend it out into that shade we just put down. I love it, I live for a pink and purple eye look. I'm gonna go back into that purple and just re-intensify this wing a bit. Ooh, a cut crease would be so good with this look, but I'm really trying not to do a cut crease today, just to keep it really simple. This pink is so pretty. It's really gorgeous. But I kind of want to do it all... Mm, oof, that's pretty. And then we have <sighs> Licky Licky, which is pretty. Oof, I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to take the shade Licky Licky and plop that all on my lid. Ooh, she's chunky, but she's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow, this shimmer is super chunky. Wow, that is a chunky shimmer. But it's a pretty color. Ooh, ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, let me get a makeup wipe. Let me get a makeup wipe. This is one of those like glittery kind of shimmers. I feel like there's not really a base to this shimmer. Like that's what it is. There's like no base to it. Let me spray some MAC Fix Plus on this. Maybe that'll help it out. Okay, it helps it. It still looks a little chunky on the lid, but it does help the shimmer a bit. So that shade is all in the lid. We are gonna go back into that purple shade that we first went in with, and we're just going to kind of like intensify the outer corner. And that's honestly gonna be it for this eye look. We did something really simple, really easy, and that is all. I have this new liner from Huda Beauty. This is the Life Liner Quick and Easy Eyeliner. I have seen a lot of people use this. Hopefully this liner does not disappoint your girl, but we're gonna try. It's really tiny, like the tip on this is so, so tiny. Hold on, if you're gonna focus, focus. Look at that tip, very small. So we're gonna try to see. Ooh, it's very small and precise. Okay, <laughs> you guys, honestly, that was a lot harder than I thought. Okay, so the tip is really tiny, it's small. I do like that because it gives me a nice sharp point. Like straight up, it gives me a nice sharp point. Filling it in takes a lot more than you think because it's so small, so it's just so hard. And I can't, honestly, can't even see the tip of it. Like I can't see it because it's like blending in, it's so small, but I feel like, oh yeah, that's good to go across. I don't think that I would use this to fill in. I would use this to get like that nice tip, but to fill it in, I probably would go in with my one size liner, but just to get this started, I like this. Look at that. For mascara, this was also in the little duo set that I got. This is her Legit Lashes. Curl and Length and Volume Mascara. So I guess we're gonna go in with both. So we're gonna do volume, the volume side first. This is what the volume side looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and try out that and see. Such a very different shape I've never used before. It does separate my lashes, it's not clumping up. This formula of this mascara feels very thin. But so far, you probably cannot tell on camera, but it did give me that volume and it lifted up my lashes. All right, so that is the volume side. Now we're gonna go in with the curl and length side. Okay, this is a, this is a kind of mascara wand I'm more familiar with. So this one, we're gonna see what it does. I do like this wand a lot better and it is helping to curl my lashes. I wonder if it's the same formula. It's just the only difference is the shape of the wand. Is that like a conspiracy theory, Tati? Who knows? But yeah, I mean, not my favorite mascara I've tried. I feel like I, I my lashes normally look a little bit like longer than this, but yeah, definitely not my favorite mascara. I would not want to use both sides. Like I just want something I could quickly put on and then I'm done. So I don't think I would necessarily 
always remember to like pick up that mascara. You're gonna need to put on some SPF. So let me quickly do that and put on some moisturizer and then we'll move on to the first new product. So now that I've moisturized, put on my SPF and all that good stuff, next thing item we're gonna go in with is this right here. This is from Patrick Ta. This is the Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. So you can use this as like a makeup refresher. You can prep your makeup with this. You could set your makeup with this for like that dewy kind of look. I picked up this item just to use it for like a makeup prep right before I put on my primer. It is very heavy, made of glass, so yeah. And it's also really small, but we're gonna try it out. That smells really, really good. It smells expensive, that's what it smells like, but that smells good. I'm like, how much did I use? How much comes out of this? It's just like a refresh spray. I just wanted it because it looked cute. I love the packaging on it, so that's why I got it. So it just refreshed my face. So for primer, I don't have a new primer that I hold, but I am gonna go in with this one right here. This is the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. It has like a gripping effect once it dries, but it goes on like water. Oh, it feels so good. I don't have a new foundation or a new concealer. So I'm just going to go in with these two right here. This is the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation and my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. So I'm just going to quickly put these two on and then we are going to get into the good stuff. I'm just going to quickly cream bronze with my Say Cream Bronzer. I love this cream bronzer a lot. All right. So now we're going to go in with blush. So I have these cream blushes right here from Makeup Makeup by Mario. Oh my God, what am I about to say? From Made by Mitchell. I love his blushes. And then I also have these right here. I've never tried these out yet. These are the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Cream Blushes. So, oh, I kind of want to do maybe both. So I really want to try this out because I haven't tried this out. So we're going to go in with this first, the Makeup Revolution Fast Face Blush. And this is in the shade Raspberry. I'm just going to take some of this. So I'm just gonna stipple, oh gosh, this has a lot of pigment. Oh my gosh, but this is pretty. Oh, this is so pretty, but there's a ton of pigment and it looks super, super dewy. Whoa, was not expecting this. Like, should I even go in with the, ooh, that's a lot. A lot of pigment, wow. I wasn't expecting that. I already like this like this. Like, I just want to leave this alone. But I like this. You guys saw all that pigment. You did not need a lot. I kind of like really went ham with this product, but you do not need a lot because you guys see the pigment and the dewiness. I'm definitely going to set this though because I feel like if I don't set it, it's just going to wipe off my face. So we are going to set it. Uh, oh, I kind of want to go in with this. I feel like you guys probably want me to use it. This is the Made by Mitchell Liquid Blush. This is in the shade Cow Milk. Cow Lick. Oh my gosh. Cow Milk. Cow Lick. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this, you guys. Just a little. Okay, I'm lying. Just a lot. Okay, I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and stipple this in. Keeping it further back, though, because, oh gosh. Oof. Well, I was trying to keep it further back and not so far down, but wow, these are pretty. This is a lot of blush, <laughs> but I love it. You guys know I love my blush. So I'm just gonna take my concealer sponge and kind of just like diffuse this. I am definitely not gonna set this with another, I'm not gonna set this with another uh, blush on top because it's already a lot. This is the blushes. So I like this. Now we need to go ahead and set the face. So to set the face, I am gonna go in with this right here. This is the Dior Powder No Powder. I picked up the shade 6N Neutral. So this is what it looks like. Very, very gorgeous. Oh, I have used this before. So I'm just gonna set my face, set all of that. I'm not setting under my eyes because I'm gonna go in with a setting powder. I know I'm doing this so like backwards mainly because I forgot about the setting powder. I forgot that I didn't set under my eyes, but I wanted to just set my face first because that cream blush, I just felt like was gonna go ham on me. Um, but yes, so to set under my eyes, we're gonna go in with the Hourglass Setting Powder. I have used this once, maybe, twice. I probably used it twice. This will be my third time using it. 
I'm trying to get a feel for it to see if I really like this product. Um, I don't really know yet. It looked pretty. I wore it yesterday and it lasted the whole day. It did not crease on me. Um, it looked good. Like I really liked how it looked at the end of the day. So I just want to keep testing out this powder just to really get a feel for it to see like, okay, was it just a good makeup day yesterday or is this a really good setting powder? And if people are actually like, you know, if it's really living up to the hype. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. This is very translucent. You guys do not need a lot of this powder at all. I had to go and fix my, like my memory card got full, so I had to go and fix that. But y'all, I was looking at my eye makeup up close. Y'all, I am trying so hard to get this side to blend. I cannot get it to blend right here. Like, I don't know if you guys could see that. I can't see, this is my problem. Like, I don't have a monitor, so like I need to get one. That's like my next thing to invest in as a monitor because I can only see the little screen on my camera. So it's kind of hard to see really, really up close. Now, because of the lights too, the lights are blinded, but I love them, I love them. But y'all, like I am like looking, I was looking and I was like, hold up, why is this not? blending and no matter how hard I try to get it to blend it just looks weird it just looks so weird oh my gosh I have no idea why this is not cooperating at all like it's not cooperating with me it's just acting a fool and I have no idea so you guys know like I cannot don't look too closely at that, even though it like bugged me. Cause when I looked back at the footage, when I went to like clear this memory card, I was like, hold on, this is not blended, but this side is blended. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I wanted to address that when I came back to this camera, because I know when I like, ugh, it bugs me that I can't see things closer, but like I was doing before my camera cut off on me, we were setting with the hourglass setting powder. I did set this side already, but I do need to set this side. It just looks really pretty and like airbrushed. So it looks really pretty. Like I'm trying to give it a fair shot, you know, so, you know. So this next product is one I'm still kind of filling out. When I first used it, I thought it was a good, but I don't know. It's, this is the NARS. Corimba matte bronzer that I picked up, but I don't think this is a bronzer that would work on its own. I feel like this is a great bronzer that just helps add more warmth and helps to set any cream bronzer I first go in with. So that's why I'm like, okay, it works, but on its own, I don't think it would work. I do like using a bronzer that's not gonna really take away from the color of the cream bronzer that I put down, but it does help, you know to set it and add a little bit of color. So this is how I feel about this bronzer. So I do like it, especially when I do more natural kind of base makeup like today. That's This is the kind of bronzer that I like. Let's go ahead and do highlighter. So this highlighter right here is new that I just got a couple days ago. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. This is the new highlighter that they came out with in the shade La Playa. This is gorgeous, you guys. I have used, I used this once and I absolutely fell in love with this highlighter. It is beautiful, it is stunning. I believe this is the deepest shade um, that they offer, but I love Alamar Cosmetics' like complexion products, like hands down, their complexion is so good. These right here are my favorite or some of my favorite face palettes and blush palettes. So this one is the deepest blush trio. I love this. It's beautiful. I can use all the shades in this. And this is the deepest complexion trio. I love this because it has a bronzer, a shade that you can kind of use to clean up the contour and a brightener shade. Y'all, these are the truths. So when I saw that they came out with a highlighter, I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. What would have been really, really cool is if they came out with a highlighter trio, cause it kind of just feels right to have a highlighter trio. You got the blush trio, you got the, com the complexion trio, 
Oh, a highlighter trio would have just like really shut it down. Like it would have been good, 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 good. But this highlighter is amazing. I love the formula on this highlighter. It is absolutely beautiful. The packaging is stunning. I love that they keep like this beachy kind of theme on all of their products. I'm gonna just highlight with it. It's just one of those highlighters that just sinks into the skin. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I don't know why lately I've just been really feeling that glowy kind of look. But this is one of those products that just gives me that beautiful, beautiful glow. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm not feeling this eye look right now. Ooh, that side wasn't blended and I went like nine minutes in this video with that problem that I couldn't fully see. So I'm sorry, y'all. This wand is so hard for the lower lashes. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just gonna leave that alone before I mess up. Now that we are looking good, looking glowy, I'm loving everything, we need to move on to the lips. So, I do have these new lips from Makeup by Mario. They are on the in the brown family. So I don't know if these are gonna work today. They're really brown. This one is kind of nude. I don't know if it'll go with this look though. Probably, maybe. This is the shade Garth, we might. Use that one, we'll put that to the side. I have Maurice, which is a brown. Definitely not gonna work for this look. Then I also have Erin, which is the nude shade I picked up. Ooh, that's probably really pretty. I might do, let's just play with some stuff. My lips are lined. Let's go in with the shade Garth first, just to see, just to see what the shade does. Just popping it in the center. I'm gonna just kinda lightly tap in the edges. And then I'm gonna add a little more of my Juvia's Place liner. Oh my gosh, that is a pretty like nude lip. I am living for that. That's cute. Ooh, should we take a little bit of Erin in the center? Ooh, Erin with a brown lip liner, girl. That would be so pretty. That's pretty. I'm, ooh, I love these. These are like a matte type of formula, but they are on the more like soft plush matte, if that makes sense. This is gorgeous. I feel like I wanna top this though. I'm gonna top it with the new Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Silk Balm, just to see. I know I'm probably like gonna mess this up, but I wanna see. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a really, it made this kind of lighter. I don't know why. I know I put on a lot of blush, but like I'm missing it. Like I'm lose. like where's my blush? I'm just gonna take some of this Patrick Ta blush. Maybe cause I like set it. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but we're just gonna add some more. See, this is what I like right here. I don't know where it went. I feel like probably when I set it with that uh, Dior powder, it kind of like disappeared. I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Cosmetics Under Eye Brightener Palette to brighten up under the eyes. Setting spray, and then I'm gonna put on some lashes, and then we're just gonna close out this video. So, setting spray. So I have the One Size Preserve the Serve Luminous Setting Mist, so we're gonna try this out. I know this video is getting very long, so we're just gonna use some of this today. Oh God, oh, this is glowy, hold up. Yo, this makes it, okay, hold on. Hopefully those spots go away, first of all, cause I am seeing the spots. I can't tell if there's shimmer in that. Oh yeah, there is, I think, I don't know. It definitely did make my face glowy, oh my goodness. I'm gonna take some of the waterproof setting spray from one size. A luminous one, I probably would use this in like the same kind of way that I used the Patrick Ta spray earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some lashes really quickly. So let's do a little bit of a recap on some of the new products I tried today. Starting off with the eyeshadow palette because it's what I'm holding. So the Made by Mitchell Do You Want Some Milk eyeshadow palette. The color scheme in here is very different, but I really like palettes like that. Uh, but I will say that the shimmers, the shimmer formula, is not my favorite. It's either hard pressed or pretty chunky for me. Um, and I'm just not the biggest fan of that. Uh, you shouldn't really have to use 
a fix plus to make the shadow work. I know some palettes you have to do that, but I feel like there's two types of shimmer formulas in here, and this is my second time using it, and I've used different shimmers with both. The mattes in here are really great formula. I don't know why one side wasn't blending out for me here um, that I couldn't tell, because when I started to blend it, it just was not working. But I think I kind of fixed it, you know, so that's fine. I don't necessarily know if I would necessarily pick up another Made by Mitchell palette from him. I don't know. I have to continue playing with this. Like I said, this is my second time playing with this palette. So I just need to keep playing with this. You guys will know more about this palette in a upcoming like makeup roundup video. On a different note, his blushes are some of my favorite liquid blush formulas that I have in my collection. This shade is gorgeous. I have used this shade twice now and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and then there's these other two shades I didn't use today, but I really, really love the blush formula. So I definitely recommend those. 1000% of you love blush. Y'all know I'm picky when it comes to blush. So if I love a blush, you guys have to know it has to be a good blush because blush is literally my favorite. This you guys know I love. I talked about it. I love this beautiful wet look. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend. Oh, let's talk about these. You guys. Love this. I freaking love this. I feel like this is a beautiful, beautiful formula. It is very dewy, but you can set it. I usually, I don't know why today, I just, I don't know. Every time I film like videos like this, it's a little overwhelming because there's so much like new product to go through, but I would never set my cream blush with a powder, a colored powder at that. Don't know why I did it with the Dior. I was just like, okay. Uh, it, I felt like it was so pigmented that it would peek through that Dior uh, powder, but it definitely didn't really peek through. You guys saw I had to go back and add some more blush. So I'm not gonna do that again. I never do it on the regular, so I have no idea why I did it today, but these are beautiful. I feel like if you love blushes like this, I know it's very it was very dewy, but you can set it with a powder, which is what I recommend to do with any cream blush. I definitely recommend to set it with a powder like any blush, you know, but these are great. The pigment on these, I believe these are like $7. Um, yeah, I kind of want more shades of this, definitely do. Uh, the powder, I do like this powder for all over the face. I have used this a couple times now and it does hold up. Um, so I don't really have any, too much to say about the powder. I like it, the hype is real. This right here, if you don't like glow, you're not gonna like this, but it is pretty on the skin, it's so pretty. I feel like today I went extremely glowy. This luminous setting mist kinda like brought the glow for me, um, but I just feel like I'm really, really glowy and like, you know, I'm not a fan of all this glow that I got going on right now, but to test out all these products, I definitely wouldn't use these two products in the same makeup day. <laughs> I would use one or the other, or I wouldn't use this at the end of my makeup. I would use this like towards the beginning steps before I put on everything else. This powder, I mean, it hasn't disappointed me yet. It sets everything. I feel like it's just a really lightweight powder. Um, I was skeptical at first when I first got it because it was white, translucent, uh, but it works for me. So um, what else? You guys know I love the Huda Beauty Silk Lip Balms. They're my favorite lip balms, I love those. Um, the eye primer from ColourPop, this has worked really well today. I would definitely check this out because it definitely gives me Benefit Professional Primer vibes, but it sets itself. I like eye primers that do that, so. Um, what else? So, oh, the NARS bronzer that I tried, I like that, hasn't let me down yet. What else did I try today? I think that was, majority of things that I've tried today. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. I live for the Mango Dragon Fruit Lemonades from Starbucks, you guys. My favorite Starbucks drink ever. Uh, but yeah, so that is everything. I'm gonna end this video right here, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I keep looking at myself because I look so freaking luminous. Not used to it. I don't really like the luminous look. Y'all know I go like a matte with like a lit from within kind of glow, but you know, we're just gonna test a new makeup. That's what it's all about. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the Makeup by Mario lipsticks, you guys. I love them. I love them all. I'm definitely, go when I go to Sephora, I'm gonna look for more shades of this because I love these. That's it. All right, bye guys.